A 12-year-old young lady is suing U.S. lawyer Jeff Sessions over the country's authentic Mary Jane strategy. A movement by the U.S. government to reject her case has been denied. As per court archives, Alexis Portel was joined by four different offended parties in her claim, documented in U.S. District Court in the Southern District of New York in July. A movement by the U.S. government to reject her case has been denied. Alexis was determined to have epilepsy as a youthful kid. Specialists in her home province of Texas were suggesting intrusive mind surgery as customary solution wasn't helping her seizures. The family were instructed that they could exploit concerning an out-of-state alternative to treat the epilepsy with restorative pot. As the seizures deteriorated, we needed to move to Colorado to get cannabis since it's unlawful in Texas, Bortel said. RT reports, Bortel was joined by four different offended parties in her claim, recorded in U.S. District Court in the Southern District of New York on July 24, as per court archives. Different litigants named for the situation are the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, the acting director of the DEA Chuck Rosenberg and the U.S. government. Bortel has experienced epilepsy since she was a young lady, and medications in her home province of Texas neglected to mitigate her torment. In any case, at that point, a pediatrician prompted her family that they could exploit an out-of-state choice to treat the epilepsy with therapeutic Mary Jane, as indicated by KDVR. The family chose to utilize the treatment, however needed to move from Texas to Colorado, where the training is legitimate. They started regulating the Tyka strain of cannabis oil called Holy's Hope not long after in the wake of moving. A drop of fluid THC, the synthetic compound found in cannabis that delivers a high, was given to Bortel once in the morning and once around evening time. Since starting her THC treatment, Bortel has been without seizure for over two years. As the seizures deteriorated, we needed to move to Colorado to get cannabis since it's unlawful in Texas. Bortel stated, KDVR detailed. While portraying the distinction between past treatment recommendations and her present utilization of a THC fluid, Bortel stated, I'd say it's a considerable measure superior to cerebrum surgery. At issue for the situation, is a government preclusion on pot that keeps Bortel from returning home to Texas to proceed with her treatment. I might want to have the capacity to visit my grandparents without gambling being taken to an encouraged home," Bortel said in regards to her joint claim against Sessions, KDVR detailed. Regardless of the way that 29 states have authorized the act of directing therapeutic Mary Jane to patients, cannabis remains a Schedule I opiate under government U.S. law. A Schedule I assurance implies that a medication has no at present acknowledged therapeutic utilize and a high potential for manhandle. Other timetable 1 medications incorporate heroin, LSD, euphoria, MDMA, methoqualone and peyote. Alternate offended parties joining Bortel in the claim are, another kid, a military veteran, a pot back in gathering and previous NFL player Marvin Washington. Amid his affirmation hearings. Sessions demonstrated he would survey and assess the Cole Memorandum, which expresses that the government won't meddle in states' choices to sanction and manage the offer of Mary Jane to grown-ups, Business Insider revealed. Sessions additionally expressed at the time that he would focus on authorizing government laws with respect to pot which proclaimed their plan unlawful. In September, the lawyer general rejected plans to sanction utilization of the plant in the U.S. I've never felt that we ought to authorize Mary Jane," Sessions stated, Forbes detailed. It doesn't strike me that the nation would be better if it's being sold on each road corner. We do realize that sanctioning outcomes in more prominent utilize. In any case, his supervisor, President Donald Trump, took an entirely different position on arraigning organizations and people in the territory of restorative Mary Jane when he was crusading. Trump guaranteed to make therapeutic Mary Jane broadly accessible to patients, and enable states to choose on the off chance that they need to completely legitimize pot or not, the Washington Times detailed. Beside the presidential race, cannabis was among the greatest issues voters in a few states settled on in 2016. Pot approach keeps on being fervently, 
as survey numbers indicate developing help for sanctioning. As per a current Gallup survey, 51% of Republicans support pot decriminalization, and 64% of all Americans are agreeable to authorization. It stays to be seen what effect this advancement will have in 2018 or 2020, when Trump intends to keep running for re-race. Trump supporter, and previous counselor Roger Stone, has said Sessions' motivation on cannabis undermines to upset Trump's grassroots coalition. Notwithstanding, Sessions has been a staunch supporter of Trump's hostile to movement plan, one of the issues that impelled Trump to the administration in 2016. In September, the House Rules Committee obstructed an ace medicinal cannabis correction that had been incorporated, since 2014, in the administration's yearly spending bill by Rep. Dana Rahrabacher, Democrat California, as indicated by Marijuana Business Daily.